God bless you. Thank you, Helen, for the illustrative video on John 2, chapter 2, 13 to 22. Here we see Jesus and his family, brothers and sisters, disciples, and the mother are the most holiest sight in Israel and at the most solemn time of the year, the Jewish Passover. This event attracted pilgrims from all over the world, all over the Middle East actually, to Jerusalem. As you can see, the temple was the center of Jewish life. Jesus was not against the temple, but was against what the temple had become. A marker place than a place of worship. The temple was a place to worship the Father. The Father who loves everybody. God the Father. And his love could not be bought by any form of currency. Yes, sometimes we Christians accept our problems instead of coming against them in faith. You see, the devil loves such passive attitudes. Even as you pray, receiving the Spirit, and life in God's word, know that you are coming against these mountains. With all his resources behind you, the mountains must give way. God's power is greater than any need, any mountain. He drove out the money changers along with people buying and selling goods. By all accounts, this was a passionate demonstration by Jesus. And Jesus purposefully expressed his convictions and took action. Imagine how often Jesus passed those tables and chose to do nothing until it was the right time to act. But Paulson didn't mean he was indifferent. His decision to act when he did, not sooner or later, came out of his obedience to the Father. His love and concern for the world also, and his love for everyone. Freedom results from confronting and relinquishing unhealthy attachment, but we also should be motivated by love and consideration for the world without getting caught up in it. There is a kind of godly indignation at the spoiling tactics of the enemy. Instead of passively accepting problems, Christians should rise up in indignation against the negative things which cause upset, pain, and chaos in people's lives. Jesus expressed such indignation against the Pharisees, the spiritual leaders, the religious leaders, and the money lenders in the temple against, most of all, the demonic forces, sickness, and against the devil himself. You can also speak to the mountains in your experience with all the authority of one who lives in Christ. You are given the privilege of speaking in his name, on his behalf, in the way he would speak to the problems you encounter. See them as he would see them and deal with them as he would. Let me encourage you to value your relationship with God and to bring glory to his name. The best relationship we could ever have is with Jesus. Knowing that he truly loves us and he cares for us. Finally, I would like to share with you the love chapter in 1 Corinthians 13.
Yes, 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have no love, I am only a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but have no love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have no love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. It always protects. Always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Let me pray. May the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ the love the love of god and the holy fellowship. and the fellowship. and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you now and always amen